This is, well, okay, there's, there's some guy on a stage, on a big stage later on. But of course, you're here for the lightning talks this session because that's way more fun. Uh, don't tell him I said, oops, live stream. Okay, anyway, um, we're going to have three lightning talks back to back. The sad news is there won't be a Q&A for them. The good news is they're going to be here after their presentations, so there's plenty of time to do Q&A in the hallway or at the after party tonight. Because tonight at 7, we feast. And we feast if you bring your badge, because that's the only way to get into the after party venue. So make sure that you're there, starting at 7, bring your badge, um, because it's gonna be an epic party, I've been told. If you want to dress up, definitely do so. Uh, the theme for this uh, party is spring, so bring your springiest outfit. I'm not sure what that looks like, but I'm curious to see it tonight. So um, we'll have a few people join late because they're still in the hallway, they haven't paid attention, but we also have two minutes to go. So before we close everything down, we have some time. Um, if you missed the announcement before, uh, there's something that the organizing team asked me to tell you because today's lunch was supposed to be gluten-free. Unfortunately, that was not the case. So if that causes a problem for you, please find the organizing team and they will do everything in their power to help you. If that's not a problem, then I hope lunch was really good. Well, either way, actually. Um, so, I was going to say visit the sponsors, but hey, you can't go anywhere because you're with us this afternoon. So please don't. Please stay here um, because we're about to get ready for the first of three presentations. Um, and let me start my introduction early. Yeah, there's some people coming in. Yes, you can, okay. Uh, if you're in a seat and you see an empty seat next to you, Please scoot in, come on a little bit to the middle because that's nice for our photographers. It means that they can get photos of nicely filled rooms. It's also nice because you meet new people. So scoot in a little bit and then people who are coming in late don't have to stand on the side, but they can move over because we have a lot of empty chairs on this side. So uh, don't be hesitant. Please find yourself a chair. It's way more comfortable because we have 30 minutes of amazing content so you can't leave before the end. All right, it is two o'clock, so that means that we're getting started. And when you say someone built their first websites in Dreamweaver and front page, <laughs> it says something about the time they've been around on the internet. But it wasn't until 2013 that Jacqueline started blogging on WordPress. She started learning about machine learning back in 2011 and is implementing her knowledge in the product she's working on at Automatic. Today, she's joining us in the city she lives in to share her ex expertise on AI in WooCommerce. So please welcome to the stage, Jacqueline. Thank you for the intro, Taco, and thanks everyone for coming to the talk. Today, I'm going to talk about how we can use AI to enhance the WooCommerce store management experience. This is the outline of the talk. I will start with a quick intro, followed by a few demos of the AI features that my team and other teams at Automata have worked on. Then, I'll conclude the talk by sharing a few thoughts about the future. Just a brief intro about myself. I've been an iOS developer for 10 years, and I love building products that are useful. In the past four years, I've been focusing on the WooCommerce iOS app. Nowadays, I'm based in the same city as WordCamp Asia this year. And for anyone who comes from abroad, welcome, and I hope you're enjoying your time in Taiwan. Now I'm going to dive in the first AI feature about product creation. Creating a product can be a time-consuming task. It requires lots of manual entries, like picking tags and categories. 
Some entries also require e-commerce expertise for the product to be optimized for SEO and sales. Since AI models were trained on a large amount of online data, including e-commerce stores, you can make educated guesses about a set of product details. This feature is available for WordPress.com and WooExpress stores in the web and the mobile apps. To take one step further in the product creation process, we can also just provide a product image without any text input. This feature is available for WordPress.com and WooExpress stores in the mobile apps. Using Apple's Vision API, it scans the text in the product photo, and um, um, it generates the same set of product details. It, did, uh, it takes all the text in the product packaging photo into account, and sometimes it can discover details in the secondary text that are easy to miss. With OpenAI's latest Vision API, it also enables taking in any product photos without any text to generate product details in the future. Now, I'm going to share one example of how we can use AI to write marketing copy. When sharing a product in the store, the merchant usually has to prepare a different message from the product description to tailor for social media, like a catchy paragraph with hashtags. By providing the information of the product with actual details to AI, it can generate a marketing message with optional tweaking to share on social media. This feature is available for WordPress.com and WooExpress stores in the mobile apps. Next, I'm going to show how AI can help with product images. For a lot of visual shoppers, how the product images look like can be a big factor of whether they purchase a the product or not. It is a common practice to remove the background for a clean look. This background removal feature is available for WordPress.com and WooExpress stores in WP Admin. In my past experiments with Apple's Vision API, we can also apply background filters. It detects the objects in the product photo, and it only applies the effects to the background. Another interesting background effect is to highlight a subset of objects in the photo by the tap gesture, and it can be helpful for variable products showcasing different variations. The next level of image effects is to replace the background of a product image. This can be helpful for a consistent theme throughout the store or just to create a more fitting background for the product. As you can see on the left-hand side, this is the original image, and it has a messy background. By provi providing a prompt about the background that we desire, it can replace the background right away. As seen the image in the middle, it looks pretty realistic with the sharp salmon and salad edges and the overlap between the tablecloth and the plate. Uh, however, as you can see on the right-hand side, the quality might sometimes not be the best, like the wooden table looks a little unnatural. After showing a few examples for individual products, now I'm going to talk about store creation. For new merchants who are just starting a store, creating a store from scratch can be intimidating. In this feature that other web teams at Automatic have worked on for WooExpress stores, the merchant can just specify a description of their store and some sell options to start. The description of the store can be a list of highlights about the store, and the merchant can specify how the store might look like and the writing style of the content in their store. After that, it will output a functional WooCommerce store with a few stock images and products. Now that I have shared all the examples for this talk, I just wanted to share a few thoughts about the future. First, in the AI models that we experimented with, 
there is still some room to reach a high reliability and quality. For example, the response will sometimes return in a different format from what was specified in the prompt. However, I think it's just a matter of time for the community and industry to get there. The next focus area could be how we utilize AI's training for a large amount of online e-commerce online e data to help us store with content, analysis, and research. The first direction is on content generation, where we can use AI to generate text and images for various places in the store beyond the examples in this, store, uh, in this talk. The second direction is to provide information about the store. Then the merchant can ask any questions about the store, like stats, or to perform basic store operations. Additionally, I think AI can be very helpful for market research. Similar to the example shared earlier, AI can further help us with keyword research when creating a product. Price can also be an interesting part because it can be uh, challenging to optimize it manually. If a product's price can be kept up to date to boost sales, but also maintain a balance for the overall sales of the store, it can contribute to a store's success. Lastly, when AI models can better take in live data, marketing strategies from AI can be very helpful for merchants without a lot of marketing experience. In summary, the future could be how we utilize AI's knowledge from its training to offer a great user experience that integrates with the store management seamlessly. That was the end of my talk. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you very much for joining us today. I have to walk around you a little bit because I, I hid a secret. Look, here it is. Because the organizers asked me to give you this little gift. So thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you, Taco. And see you at the after party tonight. We immediately continue with our next speaker. But if you just came into the room, run over there. Find yourself a seat because you have one minute. So make sure that you find yourself a seat. It's way more comfortable than standing on the side.